So I'm Donna James and I'm a functionally trained nutritionist and cognitive behavioral therapist. I have a practice principally in New York. I've been in practice for over 12 years. I specialize in women principally on weight management, mostly on the weight loss side of things, which includes looking at the gut microbiome, thyroid issues, adrenal issues, like digestive health, as well as mental health. That's my core demographic. So I started studying nutrition when I was 26, 27. And prior to that, I was in finance and I knew I wanted to do something di different. I just didn't fully know what it was. I was interested in how food could influence the skin. I was dealing with my own skin issues. And so that was a key driver behind me wanting to study nutrition. At the time, Dr. Perricone had just come out with his first book on food and inflammation and, and, and which was focused on the skin. So I went into it from that perspective. Once I got into it, I realized it was really boring. Like to change the skin was eat more of a plant heavy diet. And, and I was like, that's boring. And so I became much more intrigued by the mental health aspect, possibly because that was the spin of where I studied. But I will also say I wanted to understand the food and the weight perspective. I had in my mind and certainly on my body struggled with carrying more weight than I wanted to. And I was utterly confused. Like this is before blogs. And so now there's even more noise out there about what we should and we shouldn't be eating. And I, I realized that I knew everybody's cell job about diets, but I knew nothing about the physical body. And so when I got into studying nutrition, I was like, holy hell, like really, I don't have this knowledge. And so I became very fascinated with the biochemistry of the body. And, and so I would say like most of us, when we have our own personal experience with something, that's what we, we want to go into. So I didn't come from a background where I was, I had an autoimmune disease or I was sick or anything like that. Mine was just much more of the typical things that happen to a woman, it's, you know, a, a well woman who is, feels like the quality of her life is, is slightly lower because she's fixated on something or she's disappointed with the way that she looks physically so I sort of fall into that category and then I got into the mind piece I was just you have to go there you have to go into the mind to understand these behaviors um, otherwise you don't get there because you just those behaviors are ultimately what become self-sabotaging in terms of a diet and and so I went there and it was also part for me um, my book is about self-worth and I had no idea that I was struggling with some of that myself. And that's what often happens is we write about the things where there's, there's an interest. I trained originally in the UK as a nutritional therapist. So it's a four year program which incorporates nutrition, functional medicine in psychology. So that was my original training that is not offered here in the US. It should be, but it's not. Um, so I always came from that background. And it was the institute was started by a, a psychologist. So there was a heavy influence of CBT and NLP and, and other psychological tools that you can use. I then added to that. So I found that that in itself was insufficient for the limitations I was coming up with in terms of nutrition and functional medicine. So then at a later stage, I trained at the Beck Institute and uh, Aaron Beck uh, created CBT, that's his, his modality. And that became a really pivotal tool in how I work with women and understanding the behavioral aspect of how they are with food and in relationships and their relationships themselves.